All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James hanging out with my buddy Syme and Ali, and we are in a local village today, Dodanwali, on the outskirts of Gujranwala, Pakistan. And today is a super special occasion. We are gonna have a delicious village-style lunch. We welcome you, Trevor, to our village. Okay, hope you are going to have the best lunch of your life. What's best about today is that all the food is organic, homegrown, and very pure and very close to the nature. Awesome. Today, we're hanging out with Syme and Ali at Syme's family's village for some ultra tasty home cooked food, followed by a village tour to see the local way of life, visiting the cow dung paddy drying area, and riding a buffalo. Let's eat. Oh, wow. This is amazing. So, so she's making a roti, a bread. Sadna. Made of corn flour. Corn flour. Yeah, corn flour. Corn flour yeah. roti. Corn flour roti, yes. It's very famous in pa Punjab's Sadna. villages and you have it with... Uh, the, yeah, exactly. So she's saying that you like, put butter on it and then you have it with mustard leaves. Oh. Ground mustard leaves which is called sag. Wow, and what are we making here? Chapati. Chapati. Wow, and this is a traditional tandoor. This is traditional clay tandoor. Clay tandoor. So yeah, so she, the, the wheat flour that she's using is organic. It's whole wheat. Really? It's the whole wheat roti. It's a clay tandoor. And wow. uh, trust me, the, the roti that's made in clay tandoor has its own taste. You can really smell that earthy exactly, aroma. Exactly, because they use, there's no kerosene oil, there's no f uh, gas inside. It's all wood. Wood. Exactly. Wood and cow dung. Wood and cow dung. So you can get all that smell and aroma in your wow. roti. Wow. Smoky, earthy, deliciousness. Exactly. So this is uh, the roti. Special roti made of corn flour. Wow. Oh, and is yeah. that cream? It's butter. Oh, that's butter. It's organic homemade butter. Wow. Everything here is pure organic. Exactly. So, Trip, this is that dish made of mustard leaves. You can oh. see the red chili in it. It's infused with desi ghee. Wow. You have it, you just put it on top of the corn bread and then you have it. Wow. Yeah. It smells mustardy. Exactly, it's grandma's recipe. Grandma's recipe. <laughs> exactly. Wow. And she's just gonna put some for us. This is your grandmother here? Yeah. yeah. My Amazing. Oh, and that's it right there. That's the sag. That's the sag. Beautiful. You can just feel the peace and the relaxation as soon as you step into this family home here. Wow, and that's all butter there. What do we have here? This is the lassi. lassi. Village lassi. Yeah. Wow. It's the pure buttermilk. So this is the buttermilk. This is the butter for you and this is the buttermilk lassi. Oh, and then we mix it all together. Yeah. The village lassi. <laughs> wow. Ooh. It's the organic chicken. Organic chicken. Yeah, the home organic chicken. Chicken curry. Chicken curry. Wow. That looks so rich and flavorful. Exactly. And I just can't get enough of this beautiful village scene of cooking delicious home-style organic food here. Now you know why the villagers stay healthy. Because <laughs> it's all so nutritious. Truly an amazing place here. Oh, more butter. Tasty. More butter. And this is all cooked with cow dung, is that right? Exactly. So this is the clay oven and then the fuel inside is like wood with Cow dung. Firewood and cow dung. Firewood and cow dung, yeah. And that gives it that earthy, smoky goodness. The one right? that you'll be tasting like in a while. You can only get that in the village. Exactly. Cow dung has a contribution to that wow. as well. And everyone is just helping out here prepare a beautiful village lunch for us. And Simon, is this your whole family here? Yeah, this is my whole family here. So usually you would bring all your family together for a big lunch like this. Yeah, whenever there is a big lunch, uh, all the relatives are invited over to the house. So we gather here and we have, have, a, nice have time. a nice time here. Wow. It's in the villages, it works like this, that families have houses next to each other. To have a sense of community, to have a sense of togetherness, to all in their happiness and in their sorrow, they all get together. Wow. Yeah. We feel pride in getting together. And while we were sitting down chatting, what seemed like most of the children in the village curiously came in to take a look at what was happening and then started dancing. Gana bol. 
Hey, we got a little dance competition going on here. Wow. <laughs> wow, stylish. Wow. Good job. <laughs> and before we knew it, it was time to feast. So what do we have here today? So here we have the semolina halwa. It's all covered, oh. garnished by with the almonds. Here we have Big the chunks of almonds. Exactly. So here we have the butter infused mustard sag. Oh, this is the mustard, mustard leaf, leaf sag with tons of butter. Exactly. Beautiful. Amazing here spread here. Badrela. It's basically the dessert made of carrots, milk, butter. It's kind of carrot pudding, yeah. Wow. All garnished with almonds. This is amazing. Yeah. Yogurt. Yeah. Yogurt. Just pure, Just pure village yogurt. organic village yogurt. Yeah. Oh, wow. We have the korma of the desi chicken. Desi chicken korma. Oh, Look at that. This is just amazing here. Wow. And that's pure desi ghee there. Exactly. Village, village ghee. Village native village ghee. This is lentils with spinach. Oh, so that's the dal palak. Dal palak. Yeah, I could say that. It's dal palak. Dal palak. Amazing. Oh, that's the sag. So you can only get this in the villages. Yeah, you can only have it in the cities, but like it's quite rare. The Whoa. purest one, the real sag, you can you only can, have in the villages. And you can have that with your paratha. Exactly. That's a lot there. Wow. <laughs> that's a beautiful scoop. So this is the paratha? And we're oh, just putting that, is that pure butter? Yeah, just pure butter. Village butter. Village butter. Whoa. Awesome. Thank you. Village buttermilk lassi. Awesome. This is a dream come true to be having village food in Pakistan. Thank you for inviting us, Saim. You are more than welcome. This is a beautiful, beautiful home and a beautiful family. Oh, so you can just take some of that and dip it in your sag, right? Oh, beautiful. And Cheers, village boys. Cheers, the village boys. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mustardy. Oh, that's awesome. It's like a buttery corn pancake with a sour, mustardy, maybe slightly spinachy, spicy, Mmm, delicious mashed mustard. Mm. Spicy though. Spicy, mm. yeah. And this is the chenna here. Yeah, the chenna. The chenna. Local. Are these homegrown? These are homegrown. Homegrown chickpea. And you can just put that onto your, your corn paratha, right? Yeah, you can try it with chips roti as well. Oh. It would be better if Homemade you roti. Homemade roti. Oh. And whole this is wheat tandoori, whole tandoori, tandoori whole roti. Whole wheat tandoori roti. With the cow dung tandoor. Yeah. yeah cow dung right. firewood tandoor. Pakistan is the land of delicious food and friendly people. And this meal just proves it. Just look at this feast we're having. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, that's the most wholesome chickpea stew mm. you'll ever eat. Everything feels so natural. You have a little home garden in the back? Yeah. Or some land? Yeah, there are we fields like all over. So you can just go and, go there and grow all your own chickpeas, yeah. your own milk, everything. everything. Okay. Wow, just look at that thick sauce there. Lots of ghee in there? Yeah. Lots of ghee and spice. Desi ghee. Desi ghee. Pure desi ghee. Oh, and we can just scoop the chicken meat into that bowl. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen a more beautiful chicken dish in my life. Right there. And this food is all so excellent, but what really makes it feel extra healthy and wholesome, and it's like the icing on the cake, this paratha, how wholesome it is, with the cow dung tandoor and the firewood tandoor. Oh, and we can just scoop up that chicken and that gravy. Oh, wow. Chicken cheers. Chicken cheers. <laughs> the chicken bros. <laughs> mm. Mm. The paracha is so good. Combined with the chicken. Oh, it's just a smooth gravy. What do you think, Ting?
and after lunch, we made our way out to the fields by Buffalo. Awesome! Amazing! Yeah! And we're going for the Buffalo ride! Guys, we're going deep! <laughs> we're deep! Wow! So this is normally used for like the vegetables? Yeah, vegetables for chara, the cattle food. And wow. Also people, you know, also use for, it for transportation. transportation. Yeah. Wow. And this is right in the, the fields. Right in the fields. Beautiful scenery here. Unbelievable. Wow. Let's just oh, and go this see is the where source. the cow dung dries. Yeah, there's the cow dung. And this is all the, yeah, the, cow, dung. the cow dung patties, cow dung patties. for cooking. Wow, so you put this into your tandoors and your stoves and it, it burns and it cooks the food, yeah, right? it works like fuel. Wow. Even the fuel here is organic. Oh, <laughs> and you can just pull one off. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Here's the patty. Pure cow dung patty. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just burn that. Yeah. That's flammable. Yeah, exactly, but it needs to be really dry in order for it to burn. Really dry. So that's why they put it on the wall, leave it here for a couple of days in and the weeks sun. in the sun, let it dry and then it's ready oh. to burn. And then you can cook up your chapati. Exactly. Oh. oh, and this is the local well. Yeah. You can drink it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hand pump. Hand pump. Hand pump. Hand pump. It's, it's going no to be super no clean. Problem. Yeah, super clean. Okay, so sweetest water that probably you ever had. Ah, oh, this is the way. Mm. That's like a pro. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's fresh. Mmm. Pakistani well water. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, and the kids just love it. A lot of water here. Wow. Oh, and we're gonna pull out some potatoes. Oh, it's just a potato gold mine here. Wow. This is the happy life here. What do you think, Please Ting? We can pull out potatoes from the field now. Oh, let's we can pull out potatoes? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. What do you think of Pakistan, Ting? Oh, it's so nice. Beautiful country, right? Beautiful. Unbelievable and so friendly here. We're gonna have to keep coming back for more because this is just the trip of a lifetime. Yeah, and this water is great. It's slightly sweet. It is. Village gold right here. <laughs> that was just the most amazing experience. Thank you, Sam, for inviting us out. It was just incredible. <laughs> Truly incredible. And Ali, that was, we just had the best time. I hope you liked it. I hope you really enjoyed the signature Pakistani hospitality. Incredible hospitality and the most friendly people in the world here. Look at all these kids, they're having so much fun.